Hey, this is Amcan Tech, and in today's video, I will show you how to take care of Hyper-V and AMD Ryzen. I'm in the BIOS on my B550 or Elite board with the AMD Ryzen 7 3700X. And to get the BIOS, you turn on the computer and you hit delete a bunch of times, and then it'll open this. So I'm in Tweaker. You go to Advanced CPU Settings, hit Enter. And the CPU virtualization, or hypervisor in our case, is under something called SVM mode. It's by default disabled. I enabled it because I use it with Android Studio to build apps, and I needed to run an emulator. And if you use Docker or some other platform that needs virtualization, it's good to have. Okay, now that we finished, you just press escape. I already saved the profile, so I'm just gonna quit without saving. And now it boots up the computer. Now I'm gonna log in and I'll switch to the OBS studio so you can see the actual screen. Okay, now I'm in my computer. I'm gonna head out to appwiz.cpl. I'm gonna close this out. Here you gotta turn Windows features on or off. Enter my password. And you could see Hyper-V here. There's also Windows subsystem for Linux, which is convenient to have if you need it. This is off by default. You could only turn it on if you enable the SVM mode in the BIOS. I turned it on here. The issue now arises that if you have AMD Ryzen and you have the Ryzen Master application, it just won't launch. I will show you AMD Ryzen Master. Let's see. In my case, I already patched it. But here's the backup or the original version. You see, Ryzen Master could only run with virtualization security disabled. Now let's open it. I have things open in Chrome, so I don't need that. So, go to GitHub. And there's two repositories that I found that both seem to do the job of taking care of this. All they do is they patch a few bytes in the exe file, and then they let you have the one that works. And I'll show you that also. And this should be the same version. Just to note that if you do this wrong or future versions, it just might not work, period. And then also might cause blue screens effects. So here it is working. I'm gonna close out of it. Let's try. Sorry for my poor internet connection. Here are the two ones. I happened upon, I believe it was this fix first. It's written in Go and everything's already compiled. You can literally follow the advice here. I will link to it in the video description. I'm gonna go through it just because the first time I didn't read through it and I messed it up. So you need to go to C program files, AMD, Ryzen Master, bin. I'm going to make a new folder because I already did this already. Let's, see. Let's go to C, AMD, and we'll just call it, no, it's just, just call it 10. Because I don't overwrite anything. I'm going to take up the backup, which was the original file. I'll just rename it. Okay. 
and then they will take here. Then you download the binary from the releases and then you copy it. So let's download it. Because it's open source, you could also audit the code and make sure everything is as normal. Let's extract to C temp. Okay. And here. Here's the BBS patch. Go back to code. If you aren't sure, just read it. And I'm guessing there's going to be updates. It's always good to watch it. So now we have both of them, and let's run it. And here I made the patched version, just to show you. I'll show you the regular one. Regular one doesn't work. The patched one will work, but you need to move it over to the actual file. So I'm going to copy. And paste resin files. It's missing the DLLs, so that's why you need to put in the source folder. Now we can run the patch form, and it works fine. I will leave links in the description below if you need any help.